to the Runner X podcast, where we talk about all things running. As many runners know, it's 90% mental. So join Coach Valerie and Coach Caroline as we go through the mental side of running. Welcome back to the Runner X podcast. I'm your host, Coach Caroline, and I'm here with Coach Valerie. And Coach, we just had another virtual clinic. So we are now open for enrollment, which we only do a few times a year, a year, guys, for our immersion. And this is four weeks of basically focused practice. Tell me why I need that four weeks of focused practice. Why is that important? It's important because, you know, first of all, when people come, when you come and learn something new, and especially a movement that you've already been doing, <laughs> and it, yeah. it's a challenge just imagine if you were going to learn you've never been swimming and you went to go learn how to swim well you're learning a movement you've never done so whatever you learn you just accept and you try to practice that movement and that's the movement you know right right so for running the challenge is most of most of our runner most of our right people that come to us are already runners yeah and so they've already in their mind kind of created how they run so then what happens is of course we we help you see we, we teach you how to increase the efficiency in your movement so you can run again our biggest goal is preventing injuries and then of course getting you to the distance and the speed you want what happens is you need as and this is not just you as everyone so did i you need a guide you need a coach to take you through the progression of having this become your natural run Okay. So if I've, maybe I came in to the virtual clinic, maybe I didn't, um, maybe I didn't catch last week's episode where we talked about if I'm injured, but what if I am injured? So can I still come into the immersion? Um, yes. maybe I just got injured and, and my doctor's telling me to rest for the next four weeks. So How right. Does that work? <laughs> and we, right. And we get this a lot. And again, we're not doctors. And so, right. you know, depending, however, most people that come to us, if you have a general running injury, what happens is we modify the practice for you. Cause here's, what's really important. The reason, and the reason we do the four weeks, it's again, the first week, you're really just kind of grasping the, you know, the new movement, if you will, of your run. And a lot of what we teach you and have you work on is static practice, which means you can practice in place. So again, if I'm injured and I'm, I can, you know, I can do this stuff sitting, I can do stuff kneeling, I can do stuff. We have strength exercises, we have self-care exercises. So we've got modifications for all of that. But I'm telling you what's so important is the consistency of the practice. So even if you're injured and you're not out running, but you're still practicing the correct movement that you need for your running, you will find that once you start recovering and you're able to get back out moving, you're going to get back to your running so much quicker. So it's, it's January, February, um, maybe I live in a cold climate and there's just snow and ice everywhere. Is it really, can I do this on a treadmill? Can I do this like in my apartment? Sure. A hundred percent. So, and that's the greatest thing about this. You can, you know, like I said, most of the practice is really in place in your living room, if you will. And yes, treadmills are fine. We've got people definitely having to do weather dependent uh, treadmill running. Also, guys, if you do run on trails, other things like that, we also speak to that. So wherever you run, you will be able to do this immersion. That's great. Now, we always get whenever we've opened up for any kind of training with you at all, everybody wants to know how much time do they get with Valerie? Like, I want to just coach with Valerie. So is it, is this like, am I one of a bunch of people and, and you don't, you don't really see me, but for two seconds at a time, how is it like coaching? What is this like to coach with you? Well, this is, I think the best part of this is that the way we do the coaching is through um, two ways. One is through check-ins through video. And the other, of course, you can reach out through email or through the, the group. And what I tell people is like, the only way I can really see your run or see you and help you with your movement is to look at you. So right. when you see me, when you send me your movement video, 
I'm only looking at you. You're getting 100% of my attention. This is only about you <laughs> and your movement. And, and then what's great about that is that you really like, first of all, it's really fun for me. It's a nice connection that I can make with you because I'm talking to you about, again, your movement and how to help you with your movement. And then general questions that you have, you can always send you know, through email, of course, through support, our support team, or you can put it out to the community, of which I still do all the answering, but it's nice sometimes to interact with other people going through the same thing. So, yes, right, they've, I'm been watching, through what, they've been through what you, what you're going through right now, usually. <laughs> right. And, and also, guys, something to keep in mind is when we do clinics, and especially when I used to do only clinics or only privates, you know, you have 20 people there you're not going to get a hundred percent of my time. There's a, there's 20 people there, you know, so I might right. be with you for a minute to two minutes, you know, I'm going to interact with you, of course. But I, when I started to realize that you could send me and, you know, again, with the zoom and everything else, being able to really um, dial in on you with your movement check-ins, that's been the greatest connection. And that's what it is too. It's, it's not just a, a gait analysis of running. You actually have um, students check in on the drill that you want them to be working on during that time. So it could be something like a ball of foot hops or, or how they would do, say, um, some other movement, whether it's a, a cross country. Or we've even had people say, um, you know, my back hurts when I squat. And you said, send me your squat. <laughs> right? oh, yeah, exactly. so, uh, so it's really more than just a running coach, guys. She is a movement coach. So if, you, if, if you're like me and you uh, don't, uh, Valerie and I have a running joke. And if you've been listening to the podcast, you know that um, I can pull a muscle doing the craziest things. And I've, I've pulled muscles trying to just vacuum my floor because I don't, I have somebody that comes in and helps me with that. So if I have to do it, all of a sudden I pulled a muscle and no, she didn't ask for a video of me uh, <laughs> vacuuming, but uh, we were able to talk about it and we were able to say, okay, well then when you're working out, let's, let's use these modifications so you don't aggravate it further. So that's really helpful. But what about the Zoom? So I'm on a Zoom. I can tell you guys that, God, it, even though we have hundreds of people that come through at any given time, there's usually only like 10 people on the Zooms. And I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if it's a timing thing or they just don't like technology. But even within the Zoom, you're still giving me attention, even though there's five or six other people on that Zoom, right? Yes. Yeah. That, and that's the other... Um, that's really cool to be able to coach in real time is, I mean, again, really, really great because again, it's, it's like I'm being in a virtual you. clinic. You're actually watching. Right. Right. Yeah. So you were going to say, that's the thing. Said, it's like being also being able to speak to me, you know, because it's, and it's funny because I'll tell people, you can talk to me on your video check-ins and some people do. And some people, you know, just talk through email, which is fine. So, but being able to actually talk to each other and in real time and correct in real time is really invaluable. And, you know, it's like, again, learning a movement is it's um, it takes work. It takes practice and having someone take you through the practice. Some people, honestly, they use the zoom way more just to make sure they get a good practice because it's guided. Yeah. I'm making sure they do it right. And they're like, all right, got it. <laughs> yeah. And that's really important because we have seen, um, I'm not going to say more improvement. It just seems to go faster and smoother when people actually check in and do the Zooms. Yes. If they don't try to just watch the videos and do it on their own. If they actually yes. engage with you, they have a much faster progress through the system, don't they? Oh, yeah, for sure. And I'm telling you, that's why we make the four weeks so immersive and we call it the immersion. Because again, it's like once this becomes something, you're, a movement you're comfortable with, imagine i mean then it's how you're running so it's like the more you engage in the beginning and really get into the practice then the longer it carries you through you know that's the best part well we hope you guys will consider joining us for the immersion um like i said it'll be starting in this next week here uh you can go to back to that runner x deficit. we do like to put things on our page you can also go to runner x strong that is uh our vanity link as you would call it uh but if you go to runner accept it it's usually that main green button it'll say like join us for the immersion and we'll want you to uh go ahead and 
uh, check out that page. It'll answer any questions you have. If something's not answered there, feel free to reach out to support at runrx.fit. That's just support at runrx.fit. And I'll try to help you with anything technical or, or anything about the um, what is the cost, payments, things like that. And anything regarding your training, we always put through to Valerie and Valerie will always get back to you on your training. So we hope to see you in the immersion. Thanks, guys. Thank you for joining us on the RunRx podcast. If you'd like to know more, join us at www.runrx.fit. And if you have additional questions that you'd like answered on the podcast, email us at support at runrx.fit. 